Financial Services. Hi, glad you're here today. I want to talk a little bit about our student financial services area. It's a combined area where we have financial aid and the bursar. So we are located over in the administration building. I hope you guys all become aware of where that is or come visit us. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. So come by and see us. Um, so important things to remember. You really need to access your MyBU account. It gives you all your information so far as classes, schedule, account summaries, financial aid, outstanding requirements. It's where you will um, confirm your address for your Blazor One card. Um, it's very, very important that you look at your MyBU account often. Don't just think because you've taken care of some business, it's going to be there. Make sure that you check your account and know the status of what you're looking for. Okay. So for financial aid, you need to make sure that you take care of any outstanding issues promptly. Um, it takes us time to process everything. It's all a manual review process. Things have to go out to Department of Ed, come back in from Department of Ed. We get error messages all the time. So it's really important that if we ask you for something that you send it to us. Um, there are about 5,000 students that have financial aid at BU and one third of them are put into what's called verification. So I don't want you to think somebody's just picking on you or whatever, it's one third of our students are put into verification uh, status and that's done by the Department of Ed. We do not pick people and put them in verification. It's done by the Department of Ed. So um, make, I can't stress this enough. Make sure you get all of your documentation in. Make sure you have your 1040s if they're required signed. You need to follow through with everything. If you have questions, you can see us, call us, email us. We're available and here for you. Okay, so then in the middle of July, you're going to get your bill from the bursar's office. And it'll have your charges on one side, and on the other side it'll say anticipated and estimated aid. And the reason why it says this is because we can't put actual aid on your account to the week before classes start. So we assume for state aid that all students are in 15 credit hours. If you're not in 15 credit hours, that state aid will be different. For the Pell recipients, it's 12 credit hours. So if you're not in 12 credit hours, it's not going to be the full amount. So people get confused because, oh, my bill in July said I had this much, but then you get one in August when, you know, you, you put your aid on your account and it changes. Well, it's due to your enrollment. And there could be other charges that come on. You took a different class. It was more credit hours. Whatever reasons, there could be more charges and your aid can change. So just so you're aware that your first bill kind of has an estimate and then the second bill should be the actual aid is on your account. So the first payment due date is August 2nd, and we are um, asking for full payment minus any financial aid you have. At that time, if you don't want to make a full payment, you can do the payment plan, which is one-third due August, September, and October. And there's a $30 um, fee for that, so if you choose to do that, you need to add that on to that first payment. Um, to move into the dorms, you need to either made your first payment, being the third or whatever, or have your aid intact to apply to your account. Okay, we have something um, coming up. It's called Authorized Payer. This is something that's going to be available July 6th. You'll log into your MyBU account, and you'll see where it says Make a Payment. You'll want to go there, and you can sign mom, dad, grandma, anybody you want, any number of people you want to uh, help you pay your bills. And you can follow these links so we can help you. Um, we'll include it in the bill too, once we send you the bill, how to do this. But you can send, set up as many people as you want to um, help with your bills. And so this is what the portal is gonna look like. You'll, this is after you've already hit make a payment. It'll come to here and it'll say parent pins or authorized payers on the bottom where it's kind of circled in red. It's kind of hard to see. And that'll take you into here where you'll just create a parent PIN, a parent uh, email address, 
and you can put a little note in there, thanks mom and dad, and allow them to log in, and then they will receive an email. So they will have a link. Okay, and I have something new to announce that we're really excited about. We have um, a student computer lab for financial services set up in Harrison Room, which is in the administration or admissions building. It's right next to the administration building. Administration building is one with the big clock on the front of it. Right, right next to it is Governor's Hall, where Harrison Room is. We're there today, 12 to 3. We'll be there when you come to campus on the 19th through that whole first week of classes, full time, we'll be there eight to five. And then um, we're also gonna have it Thursdays from 11.30 to one, every Thursday throughout the semester. So any problems, issues, anything you need to know about, come by and see us. We're more than willing to help you work through it. Okay, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. <laughs>